Hello and welcome back to Fem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn some of the basic checks you can do to your model before and after you have done your an first analysis or the calculation to your structure. What I like to do when I model in Fem Design software, I like to start by setting up one load case and that load case will be dead load and type would be structural dead load. By this way, when you're modeling your structure, you can, uh, in an easy, easy and fast way, you can calculate your model, setting up own load cases. And by calculating from here, you will only calculate the self weight of your structure. And from here, from analysis tab, we can open the quick tools and results. And here I can see after my calculation, I have load cases. And when I click here, transnational displacements, I can see my one load case that have been calculated. For now, I'm going to set the beam model away and I only have the analytical parts in my view. By selecting load case dead load, and display options, graph or color palette. I'm gonna check uh, how well my structure is working currently. Uh, seeing from here, as the maximum displacement is only eight and a half millimeters, it mostly means that I have not made any modeling errors here that are most mostly common when modeling FEM in FEM software which means if I would have misplaced one node or two structures should be together but are not supported in any way, uh, then these displacements would be way bigger. One thing I can also do here is checking here, equilibrium, check. And in here I can see uh, components, loads, reactions and errors. And even uh, starting with the dead load, I can see that the error percents are uh, either zero or there is simple not no error here, which means that in this case my I have made my model work well and every part is connected in a proper way. One thing you can also do uh, when working with models with more shell structures or elements is using finite elements tab here. And of course, when you start, you won't be seeing these finite elements here. And uh, how to work with this is simply generating the mesh for your shell elements by selecting all of them. And from the generated mesh, you can see, is there any problems? Uh, you can see that there is in some parts there is smaller mesh, but that is from the previous videos where I have shown the ways to change the mesh size. So that's not the real problem. And from here, I can easily see without even calculating the model that I haven't, I have not made any mistakes uh, when modeling my shells. So this was the uh, couple basic checks uh, I highly recommend you do when modeling. So this will save some time from your modeling work. And here was all for this video and see you in the next one. Bye.